a long time ago in my workshop. This isn't my video, this is uh, another lightsaber build. Uh, I really like his lightsaber builds. Saber number 14. Yeah, this uh, Vic Tech is uh, he's really good. Guys, you need to check out his channel. If you, into, if you like Star Wars and lightsabers, his channel's really good. Hello there. How's it going, guys? I hope you're all having a fantastic day. That looks really day. nice. For this week's build, I thought it was time to finally get another saber done. I know it's been a while, and I know you've all been patiently waiting. So let's get started. Uh, he's got about 14,000 subscribers. Today's saber is Kiadi Mundi's Clan Hilt. This saber hilt was also used by Anakin on Geonosis in Attack of the Clones, where it dawned a green blade. Ah, uh, I didn't know that. It broke quite easily then, didn't it? Or was it slashed in half? That was in the fight. Okay. I do intend to make all the clan hilts eventually, so this one will be added to my collection along with the Plo Koon hilt. Your lightsabers will make a fine addition to my collection. There's a lot of machines the CGI looks really build. bad there. So in the meantime, let's talk about the clan hilts themselves. I recently did a video on the second channel about why clan sabers have really practical designs, so you should check that out. Okay. So what are clan sabers? Well basically they're stock lightsaber hilts that background oh. and even some main characters use. For example, that. General Grievous. When you're watching the prequels, if you have a look at what saber hilts all the background mm. Jedi are using, you will see a lot of the same hilts used over and over. So let's get back to the build. I wasn't too happy with the emitter head, as I didn't have any stock in the correct size. Okay. So I had to machine the rings separately, but I ended up adding some grub screws, and it worked out just fine. Okay. Well. Guy's got skills. Yeah, like I said a few times, I think this is the fourth one of Warshoes now, he's got some really good lathe skills. Sure you don't hear me sneezing, sorry. No, he does absolutely beautiful work. I think he gives himself a bit more work to do than he needs to, but and that's the emitter done. I mean it looks great. You like the Doctor Who effect? Yeah. Next I moved on to the main body. I still had a piece of aluminum left over from the dark ray build. How's Doctor Who so going? Is it going that. well? I've not seen anything since Christmas special. I don't want to see anything since the Christmas special, to be honest. Not good. Gone full woke. No. Okay. The diameter was around 38 millimeters, and I took it down to 36 and added the details. Oh right. Okay. Nice. My mill hated that bit that it's using right now. I decided to use my parting tool to create the grip section. No, the guy's brilliant at this. I have the same calipers. I 
I really enjoy watching his videos. I didn't even know his videos existed until now, which is the crazy thing. I'll go just make sure there's no sharp edges. Nice model. And brush it. Is this what I did? Uh, yes, very, very similar. Very similar. I used a 2mm end mill to create all the details. The cuts weren't very clean as it was an old bit, so I'll probably get a new one for the next build. Yeah. I ended up looking around in some old part boxes and found a few buttons I could use with this saber. Why was a pulling face? Sorry, he was doing it so fast, I didn't know if he was brushing it off while the machine was going. Um, I, if it was me, I, I wouldn't have done it because I'd be paranoid that it would catch the bristles on the brush. But I'll be honest, I think he's much better at that lady than I am. And that's the main part done. Nice. Oh, this will take it a long time. This just the it's very simple, so I'll just let this part play as it is self-explanatory. Yeah, the the emitter, the part they did, and the other part, that'll take it a long time. This is like really speeded up. It's this isn't a fast process. This is a, a very slow, gradual process that takes ages to do. Wow, he, he's he was just shredding like four, three, three, four mil thicknesses off then. Jesus. Wish I could do that. Look at that! My mill was nowhere near that good to do that. I can tell by his chuck that it's a, a bigger mill than mine. I know it has a uh, bigger lathe than mine, sorry. But he also has a, I think he also has a built in mill on that. What's the difference between bigger and small? Well, Bigger lathe means he can he can handle taking off more material. Um, smaller lathe, smaller material, so more passes uh, compared to a big one where you can do few passes and take off more. Uh, with a small mill, you have to do more passes and you take off less. So. And that's nice. the pommel done. Now we have all our saber parts done. Let's start assembling and weathering. I'm just going to paint the hilt with a flat black and use a scotch bright pad to remove most of the paint. This yeah. will give me the black detail lines. I was originally going to have this as a stun saber, as clan hilt designs, like I said, are quite durable. But because I had to make the emitter into separate pieces, I'll probably just use this as a display hilt. It's a shame too because the size and feel of this saber is great. I bet it feels great. I would love... I wish I'd known about this design. I would have loved to have made one of those. Look how beautiful that work when that uh, shine is on the edges. That looks so good. That looks so good. He's done an amazing job of that. Project. Now I've got two clans. You'd buy it. Yeah, I would. I'd buy this it. Is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. I will be doing more of the clan hilts in the future, so make sure you stay tuned for them. What about the droid attack on the Wookiees? Oh, he's so good. Mad skills. Ooh, that looks good. That black one there, that looks nice. I hope you enjoyed today's build. If you did, please remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a like and a comment of something you would like to see you done in a future props. build. 
Have a good yeah. one, guys. Yeah, the, the guy's skills are phenomenal on the lathe uh, and on the mill. Um, I'd say he's better than me. So, uh, I don't know if he's had actual training, like gone to university or gone to college and stuff and been trained on a mill, or if he does mill work for a living. Um, but he's definitely very, very good at it. Uh, and he knows more than I do. I think he can do slightly more stuff on the mill because his mill is bigger and better than mine. And obviously, the more you, the, the better the mill, the more you can do. Sounds like a tongue twister riddle. So yeah, but the guy, the guy's got mad skills. I I would like to buy some of his lightsabers. Put it like that. You would as well. Well, yeah. <laughs> totally true.